When you think about basically producing or manufacturing airsoft guns, you think of three little locations. Most likely in China, Taiwan, or in Japan. You would never actually guess, but possibly even a European country. Well, I present to you guys the Specna Arms. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another episode on Airsoft Master. And today we're going to be talking about is the Specna Arms Flex Series. Mainly in front of me I have is the F-01 and the F-03. Both either coming in the options of either being in both black or in the two-tone tan. But let's go ahead and talk about a little bit more. It's mainly in the front. What we're going to be talking about is the barrels out, out there. Now, of course, you're going to have in the United States is the actual standard orange flash hider. But underneath it is a 14mm calcoized threading. But the rail itself is where things get interesting. Mainly that I do like is the CQB type is because they have the Picatinny in the ends of um, being on the lower end of being at the three o'clock, six o'clock and nine o'clock positions. And for my carbine, one thing I do like is the fact that it comes M-Lock already standard. And we all know that M-Lock does beat key mod. When it comes to your receiver, mainly on the upper side is that the fact that it's monolithic all the way throughout so you have enough rail space to put any type of optics pec box or flashlights right on top for different type of situations for your necessities that you would need one thing that's also nice is that it comes featured with is a rear and front sights so just in case if your optics do fail you still have something ready to go now just like any other m4 you still have your standard AR-15 controls being safe, semi-full auto, and to select that on the left hand inside the receiver, and to release the magazine we're using your right finger index on the right side of the receiver. One thing that comes to mind that Spectrum Arms did as well is to put the serial number sticker on here with the QR code that goes straight to their website. Another plus when it comes to helping out with your instructions as well that's available on the website using the little QR code sticker. Another important thing that comes to the receiver is mainly why is it called flex? Because of such a reinforced polymer that comes from Specna Arms that the fact that it can take many beatings all the way through and still be able to perform. And that is, I've got to admit, an actually good flex on this thing. We can also say the same thing about the internals. The internals is important when it comes to mainly the airsofters out there is the quick change spring. For these guys, it's known as the easy access spring, which can be accessed through the buffer tube itself by unscrewing it and change your spring. So that's a plus for my CQB guys and also for my outdoor guys. To continue off with the internals, you're gonna be having standard as your 18-1 gear set alongside the 18K motor. Now, in regards of the internals from the hop-up is where things get different. The fact that it comes standard with a 603 Type 4 barrel is a plus into this gun and also the fact that it's rotary hop-up to help adjust and fine-tune compared to your standard wheels. That will help out on your range. To access the battery for the stock itself, all you need to do is just pull out the back end of the crate stock itself, pinch the two tabs inside, and you'll be able to reveal the Tamiya wire that's in the back end of the rifle. You're able to put a 9.6 nickel metal hydride in here or even 11.1 inside the buffer tube around 1000 milliamps. Now you can actually adjust your stock since it has the actual six position stock system to whatever your length of your foregrip that you would need to help stabilize the rifle. Now here we are into the most important part of the actual segment on the video is mainly feeding and magazine compatibility. While we tested with the Spectre Arms itself, we noticed that in regards of the feeding is it takes most magazines. For example, such as the GNP Frog magazines, fed fine. As well to that, the SEMA style magazines are good, even all the way to our EPM ones, flawlessly. And of course, for my beginners that are out there, you'll still be able to use your high cap magazines, even if you have from the Lance Tactical to GNG. For this test, I'll be using 0.20 gram BBs and 11.1 LiPo battery. And now for the Specna Arms F03 series. So 
So for the F03 and the F01, we noticed on both of them, even being at different barrel lengths, they're still able to be consistent around being the 380 to 393 per second for outdoor. But for my indoor CQB guys, don't worry. You're still able to change your spring by accessing it in the back of the buffer tube to help make it more indoor friendly. Speaking of which about changing springs, let's actually talk about what comes in the box when you buy one of the Flex Series. Mainly, of course, that every single rifle with men you would need is your cleaning rod and your jamming rod. As well to that, your user manual on what safety-wise of what and what not to do, a catalog of what's coming up for Specna Arms itself, cool little stickers of what rifle you rock, and also an indoor CQB friendly spring to help make it below the 350 FPS out here. That is a massive plus. And of course, this nice texturized magazine, high cap, that basically holds about 380 rounds. More rounds, more fun. Final thoughts on Specna Arms Flex Series. Well, for a beginner gun, it is a perfect setup when it comes to for durability, reliability itself. The accuracy is already there as a plus, and the fact that you have a variable for going outdoor and indoor is a plus for me and a recommendation I would give. What's more of, I would say, even a flex is the price that during the time I'm recording this, the fact that you can get any of those rifles to being around from 160 is the price. Now, to basically compare it is, there are even some video games, even for like PlayStation 5 or Xbox, that's being around $170. And the fact that it costs more than this airsoft gun, maybe it's time we should actually go play outside. But either way, I digress. This is one thing I gotta admit I recommend when it comes to Spectre Arms themselves. But what do you guys think about it? Drop a comment below on YouTube. And as well to that, if you guys like any of those products, check out airsoftmaster.com. But other than that, my name's Mike. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good night, guys. This video is brought to you by Airsoft Master.